Zwom Bimo. Hey everyone and welcome to another Bimo Creative Crypto video. So this one is about the Lake Winnebago water monster. So this monster is described as either a huge serpent or a plesiosaur, but the features described match a prehistoric but still living fish in my opinion from the large tail, thick shiny skin, and the white uh, sharp ridges or scoots they're called on its back uh, to its immense size, it sounds very much like uh, what I have drawn here. 1942 folklorist Charles E. Brown recorded the legend of the Winnebago Lake Monster in his publication entitled Sea Serpents, Wisconsin Occurrences of these weird water monsters yeah it's a it's a funny name i had i had to read that he used the word weird how many writers do that but anyway uh the other stories i found they were in dusty archives of local newspapers and yellowed pages of obscure books and uh word of mouth some of these cases are even connected to reports of occult rituals intended specifically to conjure submerged horrors from the deep. Very, very strange. The legend of the Lake Winnebago monster seems to originate from a Native American legend of a massive creature that lived in the lake called Mashinomac. So, yeah, Mashinomac. Uh, consuming deer, elk, um, that got too close to the shore. In the book, Blue Men and River Monsters, Folklore of the North, Arthur John Zim wrote, these deer it bore beneath the water and devoured, horns and all. Native Americans are said to have been too scared to cross the lake or any of the rivers lest the monster hunt them. So, sounds intimidating. But I did some research into how exactly the Native Americans say the creature was proven to be eating such large animals. And the Indian stories say they would see like a deer, even a moose one time, bellowing out and struggling at the water's edge. Then the next day or later that day they would pass by to see what happened to the animal and see this huge shiny black body and tail with the white scoots on the back swooshing around in the water's edge right where the animal had been seen the day before. So this sounds again like the moose or deer getting stuck in the sticky mud or quicksand like mud near the shore near the water's edge and dying out of panic and exhaustion just drowning there. Then the bottom feeding freshwater mussels, snails, crustaceans, small fish, eating the dead animal, and the monster would come up because this is what the monster likes to eat, and so it would start eating the small fish and crustaceans that were near where the body was. That's what I think. After a sighting off the point of Nina, a local newspaper headline tried to claim the monster as the Nina Sea Serpent. This menacing creature is said to often lurk at the mouth of the Fox River, waiting for its meals, and some tales even claim it had babies that still roam the waters of Lake Winnebago today. Yeah, I think it probably had hundreds of babies. So, here on the right, the top right are some photos that people say are of the monster. No one's quite sure what this thing is. Again, based on eyewitness reports and the descriptions, I strongly believe it is a massive sturgeon. This is what a sturgeon looks like. Several different kinds of sturgeon. Ever take a good look at a sturgeon? They are some massive prehistoric fish that can be very intimidating up close, especially if you've never seen one in person. The combination of its size and features, those big plates, the scoots on its back, the spikes, make for some creative, intimidating 
and folklore, such as uh, inspiration for the Lake Winnebago water monster. They have been caught weighing more than 3,400 pounds and being longer than 23 feet. And we know they live over 100 years, but we don't know how big they get or how long they can live. They're very big and they're very strong. So that's what I think the water monster is. But don't take my word for it. What do you think the Winnebago Lake Monster might be? Leave a comment below. Okay, so that's going to do it for this one. Please leave a like and subscribe to BMO Creative for more crypto videos. Thanks. Bye.